So in this problem we have a pulley with a mass that's pulling down here, creating torque obviously. We're trying to find how fast this thing angularly accelerates this way. So the common error here, which I actually made the first time I did the problem, is to assume that this tension pulling down is equal to mg of this mass hanging down there, and it is not. And the reason it is not is because if we analyze the hanging mass here, the tension that is pulling up must be less than gravity down, because the whole thing, remember, is accelerating. So going back to basic Newtonian mechanics, the net force, and we're going to make this direction positive, counterclockwise positive, would be mg minus t, right? So ma, this is the, of the hanging mass, would be mg minus t. <clears throat> so the tension is not the same thing as mg. So the tension would be, work that out there, so the tension would equal this value right here, which is mass times g minus the acceleration of the whole system. So that's a uh, basic error we want to avoid. The other thing we know since, all right, so now let's deal with this rotating pulley. All we really dealt with is the hanging mass here. So let's deal with the rotating pulley. What's going on there? So the net torque uh, on this is caused by the tension pulling down, not mg, but the tension. The tension times the perpendicular lever arm, which they give us in the problem, which is r. Next, we know the other equation for net torque is, like f equals ma, net torque equals i alpha. So let's write that down. And they give us uh, the moment of inertia, they say, is this 39. That's given in the problem. Uh, oops. So then that times alpha equals this whole business over here. So we're going to substitute in for T right there and finish writing all that out. Just like that. So let's go to the next page and work all this business out. All right, so then 39 kilogram meter squared times alpha equals 4.2 kilograms. That was the mass that they gave us of, the, of this guy. Um, there's 9.8 minus A, and A is alpha R for a rotating pulley, times the lever arm, which also happens to be R. R is given to us in the problem here is 2.7 meters, so we can plug it in there and there. Now the only thing missing from this equation is alpha, and that's what the problem asks for, is angular acceleration alpha. So we just solve for alpha, and alpha turns out to be 1.6 radians per second squared. One last little point, um, when I made the substitution for alpha R for A, it's important to realize that this A, this angular acceleration, is how fast the hanging mass is accelerating which should be the same as how fast how fast a point on the outside of this pulley here, a point on the outside, the tangential acceleration of every point on the, on the outside of this pulley should be equal to the acceleration of the mass falling down this way, which is also at this point tangent to the circle. So that's why I was able to say this is the tangential acceleration of a point, any point on the outside of the circle uh, of the pulley and is also equal to the acceleration of the mass falling down.